All right, guys, I'm posting up this video because um, uh, the water heater is not working. And uh, so if you're like in the middle of watching how Stella got her groove back or The Notebook or any other totally awesome movie and your wife tells you that there's no hot water, uh, the first thing you got to come down here and uh, do is check to make sure that the pilot is on. If the pilot is not on... Um, you, you can try several things number one is obviously you know I'm sure you all know how to you know start the pilot here you put the uh, the control to the pilot position you press and hold this button here and then you hit the igniter that should get your pilot going and you should hold this igniter here until the thermocoupler gets um, hot or warm it should be about a minute and what the thermocoupler do it does is this copper wire here is um, thermal coupler. Uh, once it heats up because it's in direct contact with the flame it sends uh, an electric voltage up to the gas valve in millivolts actually and it tells it hey it's still on so that means that um, everything is working properly um, it's getting gas and uh, it should stay on after a minute again uh, it sends a millivoltage up to the gas valve this is the gas valve and once that happens you can go ahead and switch it to the on position and set your actually most people recommend that before you send it to the on position that you keep it on vacation switch it to the on position and then go ahead and uh, turn it to whatever temperature you uh, you wish uh, in my case um, every time I tried turning on the pilot light I could see the actual igniter you can see that little flame in the center of the screen here or that spark that's the spark and the the pilot would not turn on so I'm making this video because I went on YouTube and I really couldn't find any information everyone was just talking about how to turn on the actual pilot and I'm sure that a lot of people are gonna criticize the video and say well you need to contact your uh, gas professional but it's really not that hard so I'm gonna go ahead and explain what I did to try to fix this problem so again if we talk about the components this is your gas valve this is the button that actually uh, releases the gas to the gas valve. Here's your controller and your igniter and your temperature setting um, for the temperature of the water. This here is your thermal coupler. If you did actually have uh, a pilot and it turned on and you waited for a minute and you did not and you release the uh, you release this button here and the pilot turns off nine out of ten times the problem is going to be the thermocoupler they sell these at Home Depot and any other um, gas store uh, it's pretty simple to remove what you do here is you unscrew it from here and you have to take this component out and this is a gasket basically where you have to take it out and uh, fit in your new uh, thermocoupler in there okay so if the gas valve if the pilot lights does not stay on your thermocoupler is the problem my problem again is that I can't even get the gas light the pilot light to turn on okay so what I did was uh, there are four screws that hold this terminal here together remove the screws remove this component here by unscrewing it this is your main gas line for your uh, main burner again this is the uh, the gas line for the pilot itself and here is your striker or your, I don't know what they call it. It's, I know it's, well, I call it striker. Before taking anything apart, make sure that you turn off your gas valve. I'll explain later in the video. This is on, turn 90 degrees. This component turn 90 degrees is off and perpendicular to the line. If it's in parallel or in line with the gas line, it's on, turn 90 degrees, it's off. I have, uh, unscrewed all the, uh, the lines going in. And I'm going to go ahead and just directly pull the burner with the uh, lines directly out of the water heater. And this is what it should look like once you do that. There's no gas being delivered to the pilot. So what I did was I took this part off of the gas valve. And I tried uh, igniting the pilot and I can immediately tell and hear and smell that the gas was uh, coming out of the gas valve. So then that pointed me towards this line here. Um, I took this whole component off of the water heater. Uh, this is again the gas line that's going into the pilot. 
I tried blowing into this uh, point here and it wouldn't allow me to blow air through it so it told me that somehow this gas line was clogged. If I go over here, uh, this is the pilot here. Uh, this is the, I'm sorry, this is the, yes, this is the pilot here, igniter down here, and this is the main uh, gas line for the, uh, for the main flame. Then what I did was I took this apart here, I guess this is the gas line for the, for the pilot, and there's another component here, and this component here is what was actually clogged. So it has a very small orifice and it was clogged. You couldn't see daylight through it. And now you can. I've already unclogged it and I'm going to put it back together and see if that's what um, the problem was. I have uh, cleaned up that little, um, I'm going to call it a filter, and went ahead and tried it again. I'm going to shut off my light here on my video. We can see if the gas, the pilot light is on. See that it is on. However, it's still a bit uh, dim from you know my experience. So um, I'm gonna see if I can turn it on, but it may need some additional cleaning. So I'm gonna press and hold the uh, pilot gas button for a minute and then see if it stays on. Right, it's been a minute and it's still uh, still lit. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put it on vacation and. I'm going to turn my valve to the on position. Uh, my valve to the on position. Turn this to uh, hot and I'm going to shut off the flash to see if I'm actually burning. And there she is. So uh, just a couple of uh, tips that I didn't mention earlier before you start taking anything apart and start playing around with uh, or trying to figure out what's wrong with your water heater it's very important that you shut off your gas valve um, my gas valve here and uh, in case you don't know or don't remember if it's in line with the tube here the gas is on if it is turned 45 90 degrees and it's in this position then the uh, the gas is off okay gas is on gas is off all right again uh, before taking anything apart uh, you want to make sure that you disable or turn off your gas line all right that's about it um, if you don't feel comfortable with it at all I really suggest that you then hire a professional but before having them come out and charge you um, hundreds of dollars and possibly even telling you that you have to replace more than what is actually needed. Um, you just give this a quick shot and see if that takes care of your problem. Happy wife, happy life. My wife is happy when she has hot water. See ya.